Ross Hughes is the path less well travelled for guys making it to the top of cycling. Just tell us how you came to ride for Team Sky. Well, I think he, uh, riding for Team Sky came about after winning Tour of Ireland, I think, yeah, a uh, year and a half ago now, which I think uh, was, yeah, the final, uh, final knocking on the door to get the contract at Team Sky. For years and years I've been winning big international races and, yeah, really knocking on the door and not, not getting ignored but just not things just not happening for me really and then to win Ireland and yeah the guys that I beat out there I think I think Sky were pretty impressed with that along with uh, maybe the rest of the cycling world and the contract came and yeah here we are now still uh, a year on and absolutely loving it. I guess that was quite a high profile tour of Ireland because Lance Armstrong was riding it. Definitely yeah Lance Armstrong was there, Cav was there so there was big hype and then yeah, it was like, yeah, Lance Armstrong didn't finish the Tour of Ireland, who won it, and that was me. So, yeah, he got me some got me some good publicity there, and so it's been uh, onwards and upwards from there, really. So how soon after that Tour of Ireland did you get um, a phone call from Team Sky? Uh, I think it was like a week or ten days later. Um, I'd say I was, obviously, that was, yeah, a brilliant, a brilliant race, and then it was time to, time to strike while the iron was hot sort of thing, and... Yeah, we were trying to trying to get a decision out of Sky, and yeah, it finally finally came. The call came, and uh, it was a, a very nice call. <laughs> I guess actually, what I should say is that you were uh, what thirty years old at the time. I think I was. Yeah, it was my thirtieth birthday when I won uh, when I won Tour of Ireland. So it was a it was a great birthday, and yeah. So. And, and how many years have you been a bike rider or a pro bike rider for that matter? Uh, I'd say like ten years. Obviously, I've been I've been doing it for a living for ten years. But it's been some years I've had to go back amateur and race in France and Belgium and different different countries. So yeah, it's been a it's been a long old journey, but and I still enjoy it. Was it always in the back of your mind that this was definitely something that you were going to achieve, or did there ever come moments when you thought, well, I might not get to the top level, I'll stick to the British scene? Yeah, definitely. There's been uh, there's been moments when yeah, paths that I've chose to chose to take and have, have fallen underneath me, and like, say, signing with Linda McCartney a few years ago uh, set me back a few years, but then I bounced back after that. So I did did a bit in the UK, and then when I uh, I finally decided that the UK maybe wasn't wasn't uh, wasn't re- working out, I went to DFL in Belgium, and then on to the States there, which. The states didn't work out, and after that, my head was uh, it was pretty. I didn't know what didn't know what to do with the path to take to obviously uh, become big time pro. And I came I came back to the UK, just still racing for Healthnet, win won a few premiers, and then the end of that season, I had a call from Phil Griffiths down there at Yellow Limited, and he uh, he basically uh, set a team up around me and asked what I wanted to do, where I wanted to go, and and we went from there and. We had a we had a great couple of years there. What's been the biggest change stepping up from that level to the, the level you're at now with Team Sky? Is it the science behind it, the sheer logistics, the the uh, travel? And yeah, I think the uh, the organisation is is just amazing. I so said there's nothing. I've not, I've not changed anything as a as a rider. I still I still train really hard and yeah. And uh, so that it's just the organisation and yeah, the logistics of it. It's, it's a big, uh, it's on just on a, ma- on a massive scale now, which is great to be a part of, really. Uh, I do seem to remember reading that you never train with a heart rate monitor or even a power meter. No, obviously now I train with a power meter, and I said pff, two years ago I probably never, I never used anything, and now I don't think I can, uh, I don't think I can train without my SRM box. Not that, not that I look at it all the time, but if it's not there, uh, I feel a bit lost, and I still, I still don't train with heart rate monitors much. Now and again, if I'm doing uh, doing specific threshold stuff on that, I'll uh, I'll put one on. But it's uh, a bit old school and sort of go on go on the field really. First year with Sky, you had some good results. Um, what are your objectives for this season? Obviously, if, yeah. Last year I was I was really nervous in the winter because, like, like we say, it's Sky and being in a pro tour team is the the thing I've always dreamt of. And to get that chance, I was really nervous in the winter and. Just wanted a solid year, really. I wanted to 
wanted to fit in. I didn't want to get to the end of the year and they said, right, well, that's it. You've had your chance and uh, you didn't take take enough chances. So I was really, really happy to work for other guys and to and to do my job. But then when my chances came, I took them like Criterium was my one of my first chances and I won out there and then go on to winning Wallone and do some do some other solid rides so I was I was really happy at the end of the year and then now obviously I've got the focus of doing a grand tour which hopefully is going to be the Giro uh, and that's a that's a really big focus of mine and just before that is the hilly classics so that's that's where I'm uh, I'm focusing now and I've had a I've had a really good winter some good hard training camps out in Mallorca and hopefully, yeah, the the form's coming now, and hopefully, I'll be able to hold that until till the Giro. You're 32 years old now. I am, yes. <laughs> Have you got the next few years mapped out in your head? No, not really. But I say I'm I'm 32, but I'm not a 32 who's rode yeah 10 Grand Tours and that. So I think I think I've got a hopefully a lot of life left in me. I've got a lot of experience in there from from racing all over the world and in different teams and. I say I'm pretty professional in looking after myself, and I have done for the last yeah ten years. So I think hopefully I've got a few years left in me, whether it be with Sky or whoever. It's yeah I'm still I'm not planning on retiring because it's took me long enough to get here. So I wanna I wanna enjoy it for a few years. Well, Russ, good luck and thanks for talking to CyclingNews.com. Thanks a lot.